When you're on a ship like the Sam Simon, you get to spend a lot of time at sea and sometimes an extended period of time. So to have the facility on board to grow your own vegetable, that's quite useful and, and a lot of people really like it when after two months at sea, all of a sudden there'll be a fresh salad available. When going on campaign at sea, um, as a chief cook I have two main concerns. One is to have enough food for the whole crew for as many months or days or weeks we need to be um, out fighting the poachers. My second concern is on the environment. We are sailing on beautiful environments, oceans of all the world, and sometimes we see the destruction that plastic does in the ocean, um, killing wildlife, destroying entire beaches. There's always the issue of waste being on a ship, the plastic, the tins, the glass that you bring on board on a, on a campaign. And we're always trying to reduce our waste. And to be able to grow your own vegetables is a serious reduction in waste uh, production. And so the Sam Simon has been working on to install a facility where fresh vegetables can be grown. And so because of that, I've addressed this issue and decided to build a hydroponics on the ship. So this new system is called uh, hydroponics. Um, it's a system where we don't actually have to use soil at all, there's no medium. Uh, systems like this were actually designed by NASA originally, so it's actually used in the space station to this day, so that we can use plants in areas where we don't have soil and the sunlight to grow it. In order for these plants to grow, we obviously need to feed it with nutrients, we need to supply water, and we need to provide light. Um, so as we can see here, we've got quite a few lines coming off here and we actually have a reservoir underneath the system which contains uh, water and nutrients. These water and nutrients is pumped around the system and it's actually drip fed into each individual plant. So far to get enough nutrients when you're out of lettuces and greens, uh, we've been growing some sprouts which are very good but for a crew of 30-35 people it's even better if you can get more and more diversity and being able to grow lettuce but also herbs and also maybe tomatoes uh, would definitely be a plus for the moral of the crew and in case of a huge big campaign it wouldn't be an issue for us to stay at sea as, as long as needed. And after two months at sea it will be, I think the cook will be the most uh, important and most well-liked person on board if she or he, he or she is able to, to fork out a, a fresh salad. At the same time, it will help us to reduce our plastic consumption, uh, reduce packaging and um, just have even less waste uh, on, on board. Thanks to the contribution of, of everyone that supports Sea Shepherd, we've been able to raise the money to build our hydroponics and buy ourselves some seeds that we'll be able to, to start growing. And, um, Maybe if it works well, we'll even have a second hydroponics and then implement it on other vessels of the Sea Shepherd fleet. So thank you very much for helping us making a difference.